I do apologise for the lack of song of the weeks. It's just, it takes planning to choose the right song and uh, we just didn't have the time in that last Scottish prediction video. But don't worry, there'll be more over the horizon. But today is the last video of the day and this is the video where I'm going to be reviewing the action from game week 20 in the Bundesliga. So we're going to look at my predictions, see how we got on and uh, yeah. I basically can't remember what the scoring system is, so I might have to check in the video at some point, but we will get there uh, and we will find out what I predicted. And first of all, see, did I get the results? Did I get the scores? And what does that mean for the scoring? And all that stuff, basically. So let's get into the video and let's see what I thought. The first one, Hertha Berlin against Bayern Munich. These the team in 15th take on the team in the lead. So... I don't know, it's a tough one and cool, but I think Bayern will, will get the win, obviously. I say obviously. We can't predict the Bundesliga these days, but that's what we're going to say. Um, Bayern to get the win. And we're going to go for a solid 2-0 win to Bayern Munich with goals. 2-0 win. That's close, but no cigar. They did, like I thought, keep a clean sheet, but unfortunately it was only 1-0. Um, so at least I got the correct result there. Not bad at all. Um, so yeah, correct result there. We move on to the next one that is between Augsburg and Wolfsburg. Just skip over and ignore the uh, scoring predictions for the who's going to score. Coming on the day from, you guessed it, it's always him, isn't it? It just is. Robert Lewandowski and the second he didn't actually is going to be scored by Douglas Costa. No, it was Kingsley right. Coman. Let's get into, though, the theme of the week for this week, which is, in fact, going to be... What is it? Yeah, right. We'll, we'll skip on that, but we don't really need to know that. You, you saw it last week, so uh, let's just try and get to the Wolfsburg game. The week is... What an absolute tune. Now, I, I okay, let's, realize let's... what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. We, we get it. It's Wonderwall. And the next game is going to be, of course... Between, who is it? Oh, it just, it's hard to read. Game is going to be, of course, between... Yeah, right. Oh, you're my wonder... Yeah, right, all right. I'm, oh, I'm getting to it, I'm getting just, to it. It's hard to read. Why are they not coming up? Just bear with, people. Okay, bear right. With. Bear with, people. Bear with. Um, and by the way, the scoring system, if you're interested, is one point for the correct result. And then three for the correct score because Thank you. Thank we're you. stripping things back. Simple stuff. Oh, yeah. Simple um, stuff. Now I remember. Yeah, the next one is going to be between Augsburg and Wolfsburg. I'm going to go for a solid 2 1 win to Augsburg. Um, and then it's Freiburg versus Dortmund. Oh, that stings. I didn't go with that. I went with a oh, an Augsburg win. It was 2 0 in the end to Wolfsburg. So that's no points for me there. Um, got that completely wrong. But after our. our finding out about the scoring system, we're currently on one point uh, from the first two games. So let's hope for some better against uh, the, or against for the Freiburg-Dortmund game. We're saying a Dortmund win, of course we are. Um, but it's going to be slightly nervy. Freiburg nil, Dortmund won. It was more than nervy. It was a disaster. Well, I say disaster. That's probably a bit harsh. But it wasn't exactly ideal stuff, uh, was it, for... Um... Oh, you know what's just happened? Oh, it's all right. I, I thought I'd uh, lost it, but we found it back. Um, it wasn't a disaster, but it wasn't good uh, either. It was a loss for Dortmund, 2-1. Um, I mean, Haaland, of course, does get an assist, as you do, uh, for the Mukoko goal, but it wasn't enough. It was a consolation, and they really did suffer in the game from goals from Jing Wu Yong and Jonathan Schmid. So, fair play, Freiburg. That's a great win. But Dortmund really have underwhelmed this season. Sitting in a pretty poor position of sixth place and um, joint on points with Gladbach. So, yeah, interesting stuff there. But uh, not what the uh, Dortmund fans would have wanted and not what I would have wanted. So that's zero points again for me. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's just get that back up again. It's Schalke versus Leipzig. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to Leipzig. Oh, I went with Leipzig. Was that the right decision? It... Was indeed. It was 3-0. Ah, oh, so close to a correct score. I uh, didn't think that Schalke would, uh, would uh, you know, not score, but that's the way it goes. We get the correct result. Another point. 
Um, so that's two from four. Let's move on to the next one. So one three away from home. Leverkusen play on against uh, Saturday or on Saturday against, against Stuttgart. Saturday. And I'm going to go for a Leverkusen win, of course. It's going to be 2-1 to Leverkusen. OK, it was a little bit more exciting than that. It was 5-2 to Leverkusen. So we got ourselves another correct result. We'll take that. Um, let's move on. Mainz face Union Berlin. Uh, and I'm going to go to, for, to just, just edge towards a, a Mainz uh, result here um, in their favour. And that will be, in fact, a Mines 3-1 victory. OK, I was a little bit optimistic, but we'll take the correct result. It was 1-0, and obviously the red card, uh, I'd say, would yeah, it's a bit of a turning point in the game. Um, although, you know, they would want to see it out, but the goal was scored early on from Niakate from the spot. So, yeah, good wins for Mines, but um, I'll take that. Another correct result, um, and uh, that means we are on to... Uh, a juicy total of three points now. Um, I say that, two from four. How does that make sense? So it was two from four, wasn't it? And then it was the Leverkusen and the Mines. So surely that should be four. I think we're on four now. Um, but yeah, let, let's move on. Um, yeah, we did We did say that for the Leverkusen. So yeah, uh, four points we're on now. That's good. We'll take that. Let's move on very swiftly. Now the next game is... Glad back against Köln. Um, over Union Berlin. Uh, and then we've got a game that is between... Who is it? It's... Glad back and Köln. Yeah, Glad back against FC Köln. Now, Glad back come into this in 7th and Köln are in 14th. So, really, it's a big game for Köln. If they can win this, then they go... You know, it's a little bit of breathing space above her for Berlin and Armenia. Whereas Gladbach, if they win this, they can get into the top six half of the, the table, the top six teams. So, yeah, it's a big one for both of them. But I'm going to edge towards Gladbach. They are the better team. I'm going to say Gladbach 3, Köln 0. And then we've got a game that is between Army. Oh, that was a bit of a sore one. That was not ideal. Uh, couldn't got that much wrong, basically. And uh, it was indeed actually, a fa uh, a, in fact, a win for FC Köln. I mean, I guess you could say that's still a surprise, but yeah, um, not good for my predictions. Zero points there. Um, well done to Cole, by the way. Two from Rex Bacaj. One in the third minute. So that was an early blow um, knockout for uh, the home side. But then they did respond on 16 minutes, but that same guy again on 55 minutes condemned Gladback. So yeah, um, that's not ideal, but we've got another game to go. So let's hope for... Uh, at least a correct result, if not a correct score, to uh, to wrap up this week. And Werder Bremen. And I'm going to go for a lovely nil, nil Oh, hang on. I've just realised. I've just said a Werder Bremen game. And has it actually happened? Maybe it hasn't. Maybe it was postponed. It must have been. Yeah, I think it was, you know. Who was it they played against? Hang on. Let me just, let me just uh, wind back a little bit. Bear with, bear with. And then we've got a game that is between Arminia oh, yeah. and Werder Bremen. Arminia. And I'm going to go for a lovely 0-0 draw. And finally, it's Hoffenheim versus Frankfurt. Yeah, well, it looks like that game didn't happen because it's it's not coming up on the results. So I think that game must have been postponed due to, you know what, COVID reasons. So therefore, we get no points. So let's move on. And we go into this final game of the weekend uh, with just four measly points. That is not good. Um, not ideal at all. But hopefully we can get something a little bit better um, in the game between Hoffenheim and Frankfurt. Let's find out. Uh, and this sees the team in fourth against the team in 12th. Frankfurt have actually, you know, done well this season. They've really exceeded a lot of expectations. Um, currently above Dortmund, above Leverkusen and above of course, Hoffenheim that sit in 12th um, with their last game being that really, uh, you know, un un unideal, I think is the word, <laughs> defeat against Bayern and um, getting thrashed 4-1. Uh, but at least Andre Kramerich got on the score sheet and I think he's going to do that again. Um, but it's not going to be... A Did he do it again? Did he? You're asking? No, of course he didn't. I gave him the curse, basically. 
Poffenheim once again to get the win because this Frankfurt team are doing the business. So it's going to be Hoffenheim 1, Frankfurt 2. Oh. And that wraps up my prediction. So close, but yet so far. Just when I thought I'd get the correct score. But it was in fact Hoffenheim 1, Eintracht Frankfurt 3. If Andre Silva, though he's an absolute legend, a Portuguese baller, if he hadn't have added the gloss to that goal, uh, to that game I should say, then we would have been with the correct score. But it is what it is. Another one-pointer. And that wraps up my results and review of game week number 20 in the Bundesliga. So how do we do in the predictions? Not exactly ideal. Um, of course, in the Bundesliga, there is less teams than usual. And there's, well, I say less teams than usual. Less teams than the likes of the Premier League and Championship. Um, just the 18. Um, and therefore, nine games to feast your eyes on. And of those nine, four of them were incorrect results. All the rest were correct, um, you know, results. So, yeah, five points um, from a possible um, 45. Yeah, it's not ideal. It's not ideal stuff. But it is what it is. Um, you know, I say, for, wait, why did I say 45? It's not five for a, no, sorry, from a possible 27. Quick maths, uh, it's never been my, uh, it's never been my forte. But anyway. Um, yeah, 5 out of 27, that was a terrible one. Let's hope for better in week 21. And um, the matches begin again um, on the Friday, uh, the 12th of February. So we'll get to predicting that at some point, if we can remember to. But thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one. Good night.